to one because we just died once. All right, and now we have the death counter up and running. Let me... Okay, there we go. Okay, guys, I'm sorry for all that nonsense. We will, we will get right back to the thing now, which is good, because I, I don't want to mess with this stuff too much. We need some flippers. We need, we desperately need some movement speed. We need silicone rubber. For silicone rubber, we need sexy tunes. Thankfully, this game has sexy tunes. Unpin all. Oh my god, they let you pin shit? <sighs> Alright, creep vine. Got it right here. What the fuck is that? That, that looks like something that in like maybe two million years is gonna come crawling out of the ocean. It's a sea monkey. It's a, it's a fucking sea monkey. Hold up. Th th that will be David Attenborough. Absolutely. Oh, come on. You can get up there in like three seconds. Come on. It's only 30 meters. Come on. You can do this. Don't, don't, don't do this to me. No, come on. Get, get, get. You're like some reason. We can... Okay, we lift. Back to the drowning? No, sir, the drowned god will not have me today. I can't do with that, with a, with a thing. I can't, I can't pick this up. I also need a knife. What do I need for a knife again? Also rubber. We just need lots and lots of, lots and lots of these things. Creepvine seeds. Mature creepvine plants that have survived the predation of small herbivores produce these bioluminescent seed clusters, which may be knocked loose by currents or consumed and later deposited by predators. The embryo is surrounded by a thick oil in silicone layer, which would disperse into the ground as the outer skin deteriorated. This may provide the seedling with nutrients it needs to survive the low light conditions on the seabed. Assessment, vital alien resource and construction applications. All of them. Ooh, they still take up a lot of space though. All right, now we gotta go find our way back to the base. I think I came from that way, but if I'm gonna be honest, I kind of lost my orientation. And I can't see anything on the sur- Oh, wait, we're here. Huh? No, wait, we're here. The fuck is that? I see something in the back there. Okay, I think I came from that way. I think I came from that way. Oh man, this is pretty. Man, I need an oxygen tank, I need all sorts of stuff. Nope, there's the base, okay. Gotta go to the base first. The top right, you now have a shopping list. Yeah, I have to say, that is an amazing addition. I really like that. It will happen again eventually. Yeah, probably. We'll, uh... Man, I'm gonna get a sea glide before I have, like, a knife! Oh, man. Oh. Coral bridge. Coral bridge. Coral bridges are formed by rapidly growing coral polyps that exhibit Thai tick... Thy... Thymor... Thymotropism. Th thymoprosism. Which causes growth in response to stimuli or when touching a solid object. Coral bridges grow in thick twisted patterns that anchor onto rocks and other coral. The underside is covered in colonies of blue barnacles. No, 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 okay, uh... <laughs> I see the red, I can see the darkness. Ah, uh, oh wow, they... <laughs> this really is a lot of red, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful, we're not done. Fuck, this game's pretty. This game's as pretty as the last one. Prettier, even. Dare I say. I wonder if you can still store live fish and then uh, get them back later. 
Sea monkeys were the worst at one point during early access. They would, they would steal your equipment? Jesus. Imagine that, just having your, having your fucking sea glide out, you're just cruising through the fucking ocean and at one point when these fucking space monkeys comes, jacks your sea glides, just fucking swooshes off with your sea glide at a million miles per hour. You know, on one hand that'd be awesome, on the other hand that'd be annoying as shit. Holy crap. I'd hate that and I'd love that. I'd hate that and I'd love that at the same time. I think that's one of those game features that sounds really cool when you when you will like think it up in the the with your design boys and then you go and actually put it in the game and then you realize oh shit this is this actually doesn't improve the game experience at all which is a bit of a shame because that's a really neat concept though again also no okay flippers finally flippers we did need those very badly okay now I need oxygen tank so no, fiber mesh how do I get fiber mesh Right, the sample thing itself. Okay. We do that, and the flare there. I could use a light. I also could use some water. Uh, meet that now. Ribbon plant. Small plant containing acidic fluid. So it's kind of like the, um... It's kind of like the other thing. Okay, glass and battery. We got those. Uh, glass. And I have a battery, I think. No, I don't have a battery. Shit, Fiber, I need to go get- what the fuck was that? Uh, I heard that. Um, yeah. Um, I need two batteries. I need copper and ribbon plants. So, we have copper. We have ribbon plants. Uh, can I- no, shit, okay. What do I need? I need... I, I, I just need the ore? No, I need the batteries, for which I need the ore. Okay, so I need copper ore. All right, I need some copper ore. We'll go get some copper ore. All right, put all this away for now. We have a nice stockpile though. This is really good, we're making progress. Uh, ditch the raboon ores, we don't need them. For plants, sorry. All right, copper. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now equipped to fight these penguin. Catch a couple of fish, cause it's never going to miss. That even rhymed. All right, I'm gonna try to find the mainland. I want to try to go back to the um, to the um, the pod. Maybe there was something there that would be useful. Uh, what are you drinking? It's um, oh well, this is just water. Um, and over here I had some cow milk, which is kind of like milk but different. I don't know. It's, it's um. I, I don't know what, how you translate that. It's, it's just like a um, different version of milk. I don't. Kind of milk. I don't know how to describe it. Milk with extra stuff in it. Lower on the calories, but far fresher. I have no idea where the hell the pot is. Also, now that I have uh, fins, I can, I can get up a little bit faster. Also, we no longer need to have have the thing pinned. How do I... There we go. Okay, so I need some copper. Oh, dude, if I had this... If I had this during... If I had this during the... Uh, during the drinking streams, having, like, a shopping list in the top right... Oh, man. Just imagine. I also gotta remember to keep using the... Uh, the flares, they're really useful now, actually. They're no longer as blinding as they used to be. Alright, so here's the overhang, which means that right over there we should be able to get on land. And there we go, alright. Well, we have, uh, we have the flip burst. Okay, that is a bit of a, that's a bit of a bug. All right. Beautiful moon. We can run. You can run. You can touch. Uh oh. Yeah. 
I, I mean, for science. Actually, let's not, let's not do, uh, no, I needed that, please. Did I just pick up fucking snow? What the fuck am I gonna do with this? Snow, oh my god. Yes! Alright, best game 2020, you can throw snowballs. Hold up, while I... Okay, that's... Best game 2021. Gentlemen, you can throw snowballs. The thermal lily. The thermal lily is an unusual terrestrial plant typically found on cliff walls. During the day, it points its face towards the sun, absorbing thermal radiation and storing it internally. At night, the thermal lily's petals close to reduce heat loss and it relies on its heat stores to survive the harsh arctic conditions. Alright, so what happens if you just... Alright, I don't think- I don't think this is a thing. You cannot, in fact, de-deconstruct these. The f Blue scrub brush. The blue scrub brush is an unusual plan for this climate. Unlike other plants that manage to thrive in extreme cold, which typically grow close to the ground and leaves- and lack leaves to prevent moisture loss, the blue scrub brush is tall with a fur-like leaf. Within the hollow leaves are chambered pores which capture and store the sun's heat. All right, I think I think we're back at the crash site. Now we need to now we need to find anything and everything that is of use in this cold harsh climate. I think we already went. I'm gonna have to check that way. I remember there being stuff on the ground. Wow, you you came in that thing. That thing could fly. Flare. Snow. Bro, I'm gonna. I know how we're gonna fight the fucking penguins, by the way. It's gonna be through snow warfare. Arctic warfare. Come on, Skyrim horse your way up there, woman. You can do it. You know you want to, and you know you can do it. Okay, maybe, maybe the nav mesh will not let me. Uh-oh. Wait. Uh oh. No? Okay, we're free. Alright, at 45 temperature. She gives me a little warning. Puts up her hands, be like, yo, bro. Is that gold? Guys, we found a fucking gold vein, I think. Wait. Where's my plan? There we go. Yeah. What's the name again? It's a, uh, it's a, it's a thermal lily. Right, gonna remember that. Herbivore large Sea monkey. A medium sized and intelligent herbivore, which shows great interest in other life forms and their possessions. Dude, if they actually did grab your shit, that'd be amazing. More research is needed to understand this life form and its behavior. Two finger like he looks so happy. I mean, fucking look at him. He's so happy. Two finger like appendages on each forearm are tipped with suction pads for basic object manipulation. Its large tortoise crest is made of rigid bone. Made of rigid bone is possibly used as a ram, although this has not been observed. Sea monkeys roam the ocean almost playfully, largely fearless of predators. Seen to form small nests where they hoard objects of interest for unknown purposes. Investigate with caution. Okay. Pang wing. Fucking hell. Wh Look at the- again. Predator. Penguin. Peng wing. You don't spell penguin that way, do you? No. 
bird-like creature. One small fish below the water huddles in packs on the ice above, consumes small prey fish and regurgitates them for its young. Retractable tail and claws allow for fast evasion of predators underwater and maximum grip on the ice. Retractable tail? What? Okay. Sharp teeth concealed inside the beak can tear chunks out of aggressors and prey alike. Let's go leave them in. Alright, we're gonna make a run for it. We don't know what's over here, but we're gonna find out. Oh, no, never mind. There's a, there's a, there's a thing right there. So what happens if we just... Oh, wait. Right. Not much. How much snow do I have in my inventory? Quite a couple of snowballs. And I have to kind of watch out with those. I don't need... I don't... No, no maybe. Okay, I won't leave that on the thing. Ow. <laughs> Suicide 101. Don't 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 try that in the Andes, folks. If one of those icicles <laughs> drops on you, you're you're done. Okay, well, so there's only really one way to go, and it is right here, which means it's gonna be up there. How do we get there? Gotta follow the jumps of the wild. Do, 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 do. Well, okay, I'll get up there, don't you worry. I'll get up there. This game is awfully pretty. Very cold, though. Doesn't have that, like, tropical... Tropical Subnautica vibe, right? Oh, come on. Yeah, that's gonna be some Olympic-level jumping. Oh, wait, you can... Whoa! Fuck are you? Frost Anemone. Frost Anemone Heart? Dude, that does not look tasty. Just gonna throw this out there. We need an oxygen tank, man. But there it is, there's the retractable fucking tail. Oxygen. Ow! Fuck, what the fuck did I just hit? Hold up. Something hit me. Is it those things? I didn't know those things hit you. But was it was it the thing striking back? That may be what it was. They defend themselves. They're smarter than we feared. They're intelligent and they strike back. Double lung plant. What? Oxygen. It's okay, I got flippers now. Wait, what's that? Copper. Yes, please. Hold up. Scanning. Uh, in goes a battery and titanium. Out comes a scanner. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. Every xenobiologist's favorite tool. This planet has some fascinating flora and fauna, and I can't wait to learn about them. This will also give me access to a greater tool set. I'm assuming Altera. Okay, well, fuck it. Let's just let's just go. We got got stuff to do. Double lung plant. A variation of the lung plant. The double lung plant grows in shallow water. Branches grow off the main stem, and each branch develops a chamber. Each chamber is self-sustained by its branch. If one branch dies or is destroyed, the other branch chambers will utilize the nutrients left behind. Eventually, a new chamber will grow in its empty space. Frost Anemone. Okay, this is some freaky shit. Frost Anemone grows on underside of ice flows and icebergs. The Anemone's tendrils are covered in thin stinging hairs. To harvest the edible heart. Carefully harvest for high nutrition value. Redwort. Twisted Mandrake. Okay. 
we know how to survive, that's fine. Logs of communication. There, it's probably fine. Okay, so what are these? Oh shit, 10 food, 20 H2O, holy shit, these things are amazing. Indeed. I hope they're tasty too, does it say? Edible and muff. No, it doesn't say if they're tasty or not. Well, uh... What the hell is... Oh shit, gentlemen, we found... We found a big fish. <laughs> Holy shit. It's the flashlight fish. Titan hole fish. Hell yeah, boy. Oh! Fuck! Hold up. Do we need to put on rules of nature again? Because I will. Oxygen. What are you? Where's the fucking scanner? Need to remove these flares from my hotbar because they keep... What is this? Oh shit, I'm dying. First they drag me down into their environment and then they... And then they kill me. Hold, hold on, Titan Hole Fish, don't worry. I will get to you very shortly. Um, carnivores. Symbiote. Small fast predator which nests inside the holes of the Titan Hole Fish and defends them at all costs. What? Small fast predator which nests inside the hole of the Titan Hole Fish and then defends it. So first he makes expands and then he defends it. Okay. Symbiotes feast mostly on overconfident predators which attack the Titan Hole Fish. Expending huge energy reserves to move quickly and strike the target symbiotes depending on receiving additional bombs noxious from the Titan. There are eggs inside the gills of the whole fish. The waste left behind is absorbed by the Titan, can uh, constituting all the nutrients it needs to survive. Assessment. Ah! Catch or neutralize to approach the Titan. Ah, shit! So, so it's kind of like a symbiotic relationship. Oh, shit! You can replenish oxygen from these? Wow, these things are fucking awesome. What are you, a brine wing? I've seen you swallow a fucking fish whole. Are you eatable? Hold up, let's find out. Brine wing. Oh, and even his wings. Didn't see those. Does have a fat fucking stomach though. Must be... <laughs> Never mind. Not gonna make that joke. A medium-sized predator known to split supercooled... Sp spit... Su I <laughs> split supercooled atoms? No. Spit supercooled salt water to freeze its breath. That was what got me! Last bladder on the brine drink on the side filled with seawater as it swims. Some seawater is filtered out through the total membrane, leaving behind a strong saline solution. Two flat, transparent, extendable fins act as radiators, releasing heat and cooling the bladder's contents. The brine wing can then contract this bladder, expanding the supercooled brine, freezing the seawater up to several meters away. While warm blooded life forms may suffer minor injuries on contact, it's uh, not cold enough to freeze most vertebrae. The real danger is being helplessly encased in a block of ice sinking ever closer towards the brine wing's jaws. Beware of full bladder. All right. That means it's time for you to learn the new pecking order. You know, chickens, they will peck, peck, peck until the pecking order has been established. But we humans, we tear through entire ecosystems. And it is time you learned your place in our new ecosystem. And the brine wing. Like, your new ecosystem? Oxygen. Don't make me domesticate you. I, I don't think I can actually get him, though. I can see the danger of these fish, by the way. Imagine being, like, stuck right here with no oxygen, being, like, almost at the surface of the one that was, like... And then you freeze, like, a meter below the surface and you drown. I can see the danger in these. This whole, this whole planet is filled... with these potentially life-threatening predators. We have a lot of copper though. We can we can make a lot of cool stuff now. I'm still learning the lay of the land, so to say. There's a lot of uh there's a lot of stuff. Oxygen. Okay, okay, okay. Also, the 10 second oxygen <laughs> warning. I'm not sure if I'm happy with that. Just 10 seconds, that's not much. It's not gonna get me up if I'm if I'm down. That is a that is a that is a thing. That's a fish. That's another penguin. Man, I, I haven't explored that whole fish. I don't know if I can kill it, I don't know if I can eat it. 
Wait, I didn't read about the whole fish. Titan Holefish, a large docile herbivore which emits oxygen and is defended by a small aggressive symbiotes which accompany them. Slow, stupid, and delicious. Yes, perfect. It's like sea turtles, mate. Complex gills line in. Do you know when, um, when, um, what's his face? Mr. Charles Darwin, um, came to the Galapagos. He was, ta he was gonna take one of those massive, like, turtles with him, uh, to, to go to England and, and show him. But those fucking things were apparently so delicious that they literally could not not eat it on the way back to England. And so... And, and so we ate it. Anyway. Complex gills line the inside of the hole, drawing cold water in and emitting warm, oxygen-rich water in its plates. It tracks symbiotes, which make the whole fish their home, and fiercely ward off any approaching life forms. Uh, migrates more or less at random, feeding from nutrients deposited by the symbiotes. Dude, it's like the perfect symbiote. This symbiotic relationship is a circle. It's the perfect, it's the perfect thing. The Titan Holefish has evolved entirely beyond basic survival... <laughs> has evolved entirely beyond basic survival mechanisms like speed, intelligence, or hunting. It exists in a semi-permanent state of unreflective calm, swimming forward on impulse, fully trusting the complex ecosystem which supports it. Valuable oxygen source if you can reach it. Yeah, but I also said it was delicious. Delicious. Okay. Uh, don't worry, gentlemen. We will get a bigger cannon and we will get it. I don't think this... You know, it's gonna take a while with this knife. It's gonna take a while with this knife. That is a very peculiar piece of ice. Very interesting shape. With absolutely no... Nothing interesting going on. On this piece of ice. Fine. What about over here? Okay, also nothing. What's that? That's the, uh, that's the overhang. Wait, does that mean I can actually get on the... If I jump, if I jump well enough, can I... Can I reach, like, some sort of... Uh! Okay. Wait, I don't think I actually need to jump all that carefully, because I think I can just get on top here. Nah, I can't, I can't... V oh, for fuck's sake, it's these... I got a weapon now, though! Fucking apex predators of this planet, I'm telling you. Peng Ling. <sighs> Peng Ling. Young penguin peng wings tend to huddle on dry land awaiting their next meal. Consume almost exclusively fish regurgitated by adults in the huddle. They stay to the center of the huddle to stay warm and out of the wind. If separated from the huddle, the adults will become agitated and begin searching for the young penguins. So please don't do this. Harmless. It, it, I, it's not fucking harmless. Do you see these fucking things? Dude, when the hive mind activates and these motherfuckers start hunting you, there is no fucking safe place. Look at them. Half their body length is a massive mouth with teeth. Come here. Come here. This entire colony has to go in the name of mankind. This entire colony has to go for the future. Wait, we are colonizing this place, aren't we? Are we colonizing this place? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Man, it, the, the game really likes to just throw you out the moment. I mean, they don't attack yet. I don't understand why they don't attack. Are they like not hostile? I mean, look at them. They, they fucking, they look, they look like. Can I eat these? I mean, if you steal their young, they will, of course, but I mean, that's logical. Can I, like, throw you in, like, a bioreactor? Is that a thing? I'm trying to find a use for these before they fucking destroy every life form on this fucking planet. Again. 
Teeth the size of my hand. Even the younglings. Even the younglings. I mean, I can't just go around killing them all with a knife, though. I mean... Can't I? I feel like I could. War against the ocean? No, it's just war against the penguins for now. Look! Deadly fucking predators, bro. Every last one of them. Man, I need a sea glide. Ooh, what's sent down in this hole? Ooh. Awesome music. I feel like I heard this music in Terraria. Oxygen. I definitely heard that in Terraria. Ping a ling a ling ting ting. Wait, I I didn't I didn't wait. Wait, wait. <laughs> We're gonna sneak attack. Shh 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 Huh Wait, snowballs float? Tut! Tut! And we're gone! Into the abyss. Black as death. Sneaky as shit. Fuck, didn't hit him. Okay. Different angle. Tut! Shit. My aim is terrible. General, we're running out of ammunition. We can go get more. We 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 got it. We got it. To no, get up. Get on. But up up but to it. To it. Soot. Put. Yup. Strike successful. Get out. It's a seal team six. We are getting out. Mission accomplished. This kind of feels a little bit like the uh, emu war, I have to say. That didn't really feel like a victory so much. That, that was like a symbolic victory, maybe. Maybe a symbolic victory. That's what that was. Carrier fish. <laughs> Shit, you're right. Those, those giant hoop fish, they are kind of. Battery lubricant wire. Wait, I have that shit. I have that shit. Wire, lubricant... Now I need a battery. Uh, for which I'll need some raboon plants. Boys, we have a sea glide before we even have... Well, most things actually, but we have the sea glide, so... Man, I don't even have a fucking oxygen tank. That's that's where we're at right now. Okay, I need that oxygen tank. Fiber mesh. Do I not have creep vine samples? Oh no, I got everything under the sun except creep vine. Shit. Okay, fine. We'll get some creep vine samples. Am I too late? No havoc. It's it's it has only just begun. Trust me, it's only just begun. Why are you playing on the February version? I don't know, this is the latest version. This is, uh... I just installed the game and I went. So this is the latest uh, thing. I don't think I'll, we will need these anymore, these uh, flares. Uh, is there anything else we need? Yeah, we, we, we need we need that we need that stuff. So what we need is to dump all this and then we gotta go cut some cut some creep vines to pieces. We got two full batteries. Uh old anemone heart right, these are just eatable and you can't really um uh Oh no don't do that. You can't really uh you apparently can't really like use them for anything. So let's just let's just eat them before they go bad. That'd be a shame. I'll uh, we'll do that. We'll drink some water. I mean, I could do I could do me with a um, first aid kit, but there's no first aid kits, so 
unfortunately. Okay, we have our sea glide, boys. Oh my god. Oh. Um. Oh yes, they have separate toggles in the game. You beautiful motherfuckers. All right, toggle map. All right, so if we go that way, we go down. If we go that way, there is the surface. Right, so that is land. That is good to know. Let's, uh... Oh, God, the light is also much better. Oh, God, everything is better in this game. Everything is better in this game so far. Look, the light is more useful. You can toggle them individually. We know which way to go now. Uh, we need some... We need some... Creep find boys. Let's go find some creep find boys. Let's go find some creep find boys. Right there. Is the speed of the sea glide lower? No, no, it just seems like it. Oxygen. It's an illusion. Don't worry, we'll get there. New blueprint synthesized. All right. We gotta go out, space monkeys. Damn, space monkeys! All right, where do we? Uh, uh it's somewhere like in there, I think. I can't see the. I can't see the thing. On the thing, so we're we're gonna have to memorize where the oh, it's right there. Okay, good. So it's right in the middle of the um. It's right in the middle of that little hoopy thing in the middle. Okay, we'll remember that. All right, now we finally have fiber mesh, so we can create our oxygen tank. Oh shit, wait, there is a new version? Oh crap, okay, well then I need to, uh, update. <laughs> Why, and, and train them to be your minions? Uh, I didn't realize that was an option. Is Jeroen an evil genius? Look, I'm not, I'm not gonna confirm or deny any of this right now. Take some of that, take some of that, take a whole bunch of that. I have no idea what I can build right now, so I'll just take it all. No silver, though. No food. Equipment. Okay. Oxygen tank. Thank you. We also could use a compass, for which we need a wiring kit, which we do not yet possess. A light would be useful. Hey, what, what do you mean I can't build a flashlight? I need a flashlight, game. Battery and glass. I got those. Oh, my God. You can write... Cr oh, that's so good. Okay. Okay. I have this game, let me craft a bloody flashlight. What are you talking about? Can't do it. What are you talking about? Oh. 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 Okay, gotcha. Adding additional blueprints to your database. Ooh. Alright, see now we have 75 oxygen. Okay. This will this will do well. All right, we can now build a computer chip. Table coral I haven't even found yet. Uh, can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. <laughs> VIP breathing, eh? Deluxe breathing. Okay. There, repair tool, which we need sulfur for. I haven't found that yet. Fans, first aid kit, phone air pump, don't give a chip. Use that. Need some bat, bat, bitty, bitty, boom. And then we need some bitty, bitty, ba. Can't get that right now. Okay, flashlight. Alright. Store all that again. Uh, okay. Um, maybe maybe we should turn this into something before we uh, before we go. We have enough silicone rubber. Build some lubricants, we'll have some uh, fiber mesh. First aid kit wouldn't go miss actually. We need to start building this actually. Speaking of that, Evil Genius 2 World Domination is out at the end of the month. I've seen that Steam page. I have to say, it kind of looks awesome. Gentlemen, I will make a first aid kit. I know, this is not something I usually do. But uh, we will do it for now. I will, I will even hotkey it. Uh, nah, we don't need to go that far, right? We'll keep that, keep that, keep that. No, I don't need flare anymore. Ribbon plant can go, food, water, first aid kit, we'll keep the first aid kit in a little bit of emergency 
food in there, okay. All right, we should be good to go. So we got two, we got three, we got four. No self-scan option. All right. That's not the door, that's the door. All right, gentlemen, I feel like we are ready to go exploring. How about you guys? I'm feeling it. So we'll just go in that general direction. I can see there's like stuff over there, I think. Just go pick up some of this useful stuff along the way. And now that we actually have a decent amount of oxygen, we can actually dive into the depths. As David Jones said, full bore into the abyss. Sea monkey nest. Bro, look at look at the amount of titanium we just got from that shit. Sea monkey nest. Sea monkey nests are large, bowel-like structures made of packed sediment and plant matter. The sea monkeys use their wide flat tails to pack the materials and form the structure of the nest. Sea monkeys are naturally curious creature, often drawn to metallic materials which they gather to reinforce the sides of their nests. Okay. I mean, to be fair, it kind of looks like an underwater face hugger thing with egg thingy, but you know, we'll just not think about that. Oh, dude, you can go all the- Oh shit, they're here! They're fucking here! They've invested this part of the planet as well! 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. You do get 30 second words, thankfully. Gentlemen, the Crusades need to be brought to this area of the planet as well. Because guess what? They're f They're- They're- Oh wait, what did I not keep? What did you got in there? A whole fucking family? Creature egg my ass. We know what's in there. Sulfur. What? What? Where's the sulfur? Where's the sulfur? Outer petals are undamaged by the presence of the hammed and creatures suggesting a complex ecosystem. The plant has evolved to feed on nutrients and minerals deposited within it by the fish. Sulfur deposits on the inner leaves provide insight. Sulfur is application construct. Okay, but how do I get to it? Shit. You need multiple of them. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, let's do this first. Man, I do feel like we're slower, even with the Seamoth. I don't know if that's just an illusion. 60 pin recipe? Yeah. Oh, and a double cereal core! Akakabanze! What is that? Yeah, the, the, the bonsai fish, I prefer to I prefer to think of them as jihad fish. Bro, this it's an oxygen plant. Wow, that is pretty big. It looks like it could snap shut and then slowly consume you over the course of like Wow! Wow! That's cool. And it definitely does look like a face hugger. Egg. Oxygen plant depleted. Okay, and then we'll come back in time. Man, that's neato. That is neato. Okay. I need to- I need to find out- I need to find all of the usable thing. You know what? Let's just destroy this whole ecosystem first. So we can see what the hell is going on. Alright, all of these creep vines can go... Simidi suck a di- You motherfucker, get your ass back here, fucking. They do still steal your shit. Fucking uh, Burnin said, told about, where the fuck did he go? Right here. Listen up here, you little fucking shit. You can't, that one you get for free, the next one's not gonna be on the house. But on your life. Imagine if they steal your sea moth like a hundred meters down. You'll just ho hopelessly drown and die. Be kind of funny, actually. 
Little fucking she shits. Oh shit, Silver. What the fuck is that thing? It looks like a cousin of the explosion thing because it's so ploffed up. Spinnerfish. Alright, maybe it doesn't explode. It looks like the same thing, only explosive. <laughs> or in a different form. Bizarre fish with star-like fins which spins to generate propulsion. Capable of very high speeds in a straight line, slow wide turning circle. Like other small prey fish, they feed a variety of grass. Oh, okay, well, we can actually eat it. Okay. Creature discovered. Okay. No, another one of those nests full of useful shit. Laser cutter fragment? What motherfuckers have laser cutter fragments down there? 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Sea monkey egg. It's, it's kind of cute though, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little cute. Just a little bit, but a little cute. And then highly annoying. A little, maybe a little cute. Oxygen. The head of a llama carb. But how much, how many, okay, fuck that creature, right? Uh, spinnerfish. Man, that, that thing isn't even, doesn't even hold that much nutrition. Maybe, maybe if you cook it first. We'll cook it first. A little bit of salt. Man, this game is fucking pretty. Wait, we got another one of those titan whole fish. Gravity trap. Kind of want to go check that out. But we're not done with this cave here. Just yet. Man, this cave leads to all sorts of stuff. I gotta remember, there is an oxygen thing there. And another one. No, this is the same one. Damn, this place is a labyrinth. <laughs> There's only like four... One, two, three, four ways to go, but... Seems like a labyrinth. Okay, well, I cut away the massive thing in the center so we can actually at least see where we're going. All right, so we replenish some oxygen. And then we go. Going down, down, down. Right, sea monkey egg. So is that it then? Just, uh, you know, just the thing? Okay, well. Man, this game is fucking pretty. And incredibly Warning. relaxing. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay. Alright, let's uh, take stock of our situation. Where are we right now? We are... Right, so that way is the, uh, that way is the base, because that has that little thing over here, which, uh, the base is right beside of. So, I, I need a, I need me some, I need me some, some stuff to make a compass so that I can actually have a, like, some direction. Must below zero. This is the second game, ma'am. Subnautica 2, it's here. Well, not entirely. It's not released yet, but the early access has gotten its final update. Oh, okay, okay. Come on, come on, get out, get out. Okay, you gotta, you gotta left click to, to do that. Where's that fucking fish that did that to me? Gotta follow the laws of the wild. Do, 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 do. Oxygen. See? Fucking projectile fish. Can't even kill these motherfuckers. I'd say don't disturb the ecosystem, but... They disturbed me! And I suppose I did, I did throw some, like, snowballs at some of the, some of the penguins, but... Where am I going? I'm going... Where's the little... Here, right? This is the base? No, this is not the base. Shit. There's the- No, there is the base. Okay. It's that little thingy right there. 
Gotta, gotta memorize. We gotta... We gotta remember. 